Hello everyone, I'm Iron Phoenix and welcome to Industrial Craft 2. Now, this is going to be two videos. The first video is going to cover how to build a nuclear reactor, the actual, you know, physical block by block type of thing. And the next video is going to be talking about the heat mechanics and about the nuclear reactors, but I thought I would do this as a separate video because the construction is a little bit weird and as a result people might just want to watch this video and not necessarily worry about the heat video so yeah so nuclear reactors have changed literally in a day I, I've already recorded this video three times well this will be the third time I've recorded the video because the mechanics keep changing um, <laughs> so you have your basic nuclear reactor and this hasn't changed at all. You plop it down somewhere and it looks pretty much the same. You've got a core temperature percentage and an EU tick um, value. This is now a percentage so it isn't actually a heat value. When it hits 100% the reactor explodes. So keep your heat down and to expand it you add your reactor chambers of course I have to drop it uh, so one down there, one there, one there, one there one there and one there so that is now a full sized nuclear reactor and that's the one that makes EU Okay. now if we wanted this instead to make uh, water, to make heat what we would do is just clear the area around it a little like so that should do yeah that should, that should be right so what we're going to do is we're going to make a 5x5 five five cube around it so 5x5x5 five by five by five, okay so but first we need our reactor components we need a, an access hatch redstone port pressure vessel and fluid port. I'm just gonna go wild here. And this is just, it's pretty simple because you are just building it around this vessel. It took me a little while to work this out last night. To the point where I went and looked at a picture and looked it up on the internet. <sighs> Documentation, eh? That's for other people. So yeah, that's that. Uh, and then we add... Oh, hold on. And then we have to add our redstone port to turn it on and off. An access hatch and a fluid port. This can, these can probably go wherever you want to put them. I'm just putting them here because, well, why not? It looks nice. Um, and you can probably put multiples, I would think. But um, anyway, so that is the multi-block. So now if we right-click on it, it's... Oh, no, we have to actually click on the hatch. And then we get, get access to the reactor. And so we put in coolant here. We get hot coolant out there and we put it in our design in here so and obviously when it hits 100% it explodes but it does output heat so yeah um, and all of this I'll show in, in the next video it actually working quite what it does but this was just a construction video to show you how you build these reactors and yeah go wild have fun enjoy so yeah for now i will say thank you very much for watching and i will see you probably in the next video